Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is your weekly horoscope overview for the week of October 18th to October 24th, 2021. But before we begin, I want to let you know that this video will give you the highlights of the week. The details will be in my daily videos that you can watch on YouTube. So we start this week off by two planets going direct, right? Jupiter and Mercury. Now this is important because as we entered the month of October, a lot of the planets were retrograde. Since April, one by one, the planets started to retrograde. With Pluto, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Chiron, and as we entered October, even Mercury was retrograde. And this meant that the pace at which things were moving was a little slow. It was more a period of review rather than creating active actively. And as we entered October, the energy was really, really slow because Mercury, the planet of our day-to-day, -day, of our communication, was also retrograde. But since October 6th, with Pluto coming direct, and then on October 10th, Saturn, and now this week, a few hours apart, Jupiter and Mercury will also go direct. Four planets going direct in 12 days, which means the pace at which things have been moving will pick up considerably and now is the time we'll actively start to create karma again it's not so much a period of review and reprocessing as it is taking action and getting things done and jupiter getting out of retrograde means that the blessings the rewards the lessons because jupiter is about these things eased off since it went retrograde a few months ago but now it will start again the lessons the rewards and blessings and with mercury mercury has been retrograde since september 27th so since then communication could have been slow gadgets could have malfunctioned and it was really not the best time to start something absolutely new but now that it's out of retrograde on monday we can again start to do new things communication will pick back up and hopefully gadgets will not malfunction as much so what i'm trying to say is that this is the week with four planets going direct the pace at which things has been moving will really start to pick up it's a great time to take action and get things done and that's also because on monday pacific time we have the jupiter jupiter mars trying a lot of energy a lot of abundance to get things done and move forward so this week starts off with so much energy to move forward and get things done and that's the theme of the week because on wednesday we do have a full moon in aries and aries is a mars ruled sign it's about taking action and getting things done and this is an intense full moon a full moon is typically a point of culmination completion release and we'll talk about this in the full moon video in depth but this is a point where we are completing something where we are releasing something as well and this full moon is conjunct mars on thursday we have the mars pluto square mars is the planet of action and drive and pluto is the planet of transformation so this is a point where we really might need to transform how we take action and this energy can feel intense right it can really propel us to take action as well and the whole week we will be feeling the build up to this energy so on one hand we have this energy supporting us the mars jupiter trying to move forward get things done with the full moon in aries which is also an energy about getting things done and taking action there is an intensity happening in the background that comes exact on thursday with the mars pluto square asking us to maybe transform how we take action Yes, there's energy about taking action and getting things done, but perhaps how we take action, we might need to adjust that. And then on Friday, the sun is going to change signs. It's going to leave the sign of Libra and enter the sign of Scorpio. Now the sun has been in the sign of Libra for the past 30 days and the sun really does not 
The sun does not really like to be in the sign of Libra too much, but now it's going to enter Scorpio. Now this is a different energy. Libra is a very diplomatic energy, right? It's about trying to find balance. It's about weighing things out. But Scorpio is different. Scorpio is an energy that likes to dig deep and find the truth. It's a very all or nothing sort of energy. So now the energy is going to shift from a diplomatic trying to find balance to a trying to dig deep and find the truth with an all or nothing approach to things. So that's the energy. So I would say it's a very, very intense week, a week where we can really move forward and take action, a week where the pace at which things have been moving for the past few months will pick up considerably and it can feel intense because we do have the Mars Pluto square in the background all week and we also have Mercury in its opposition to Chiron all week of an aspect that can make us feel a little wounded and that feeling a feeling of feeling wounded a feeling of the pain coming back up can prevent us from taking action and moving forward but this week is about taking action and moving forward so to sum it up this week we must take action we must move forward we must not let the pain prevent us from doing so and we do have a full moon which we will talk about in the full moon video. So I hope you have a great week. Actually, before that, I will pick a few cards for today and then we'll close it out. Flexibility. I think we got this card for the weekend as well. I think we still have to continue being flexible. And this could also be referring to the Mars-Pluto square that is building up and will come exact on Thursday, that we must be flexible in our approach to getting things done, perhaps. It's the first card. Purity. We got this card for the daily reading for Monday. I just did that. And I think this week the whole energy is probably maintaining that purity and approaching everything from a pure heart. It's strange when we get the same cards. <laughs> that means the energy is very intense. Or the universe is trying to give us a very important message. One does. And I think this is a good card because we do have the Mars-Jupiter trine. Jupiter is direct and I think if we take action, if we are flexible in how we take action and do it from a good place, purity, then we can really see wonders happen this week, right? I, I really think that's possible. So this is a very positive card and I'm going to pick one more but I think the message is pretty clear that changing up how we take action, taking that action from a pure place with a pure intention can really create miracles and lead to wonder. Let's go with one more card. <laughs> Flow, we got this card for the weekend as well and I think this is the same as flexibility. Maybe going with the flow is important this week, right? Because we are asked to transform the sun squared Pluto over the weekend. Now Mars is going to square Pluto and there's a lot of transformation that is required, right? While we take action. So maybe going with the flow and being flexible will help that while maintaining a pure heart, a pure intention, and that will lead to something wonderful, a wonder, a miracle, that sort of stuff. But again, we do have to take action. We do have to channel that energy. So I think the theme of this week is moving forward, taking action, getting things done. That's the theme because we've not seen so many planets direct in very long and this full moon is happening with four planets direct the new moon two weeks ago the new moon in libra had the all these four planets retrograde 
right? So this is a very different energy this week we are stepping into. And towards the end of the week, the sun is going to enter the sign of Scorpio. And that is that is also a sign about transformation. And, and I have done a few monthly readings for the month of November for um, your sun and rising signs. And I've done, I think, seven or eight so far. And the theme for almost every sign has been transformation. And I think that's because there's going to be so much energy in Scorpio now, right? We have the sun in Scorpio this week, October 23rd. We'll have Mars entering the sign of Scorpio on October 30th. And we'll have the new moon in Scorpio on November 4th. And the eclipse that's going to happen on November 19th is on the uh, Taurus Scorpio axis so much Scorpio Scorpio is truth it's transformation it's digging deep so I think this is the week that starts all that right because we can only transform when we take action so this is the week to take action make things happen because the universe is supporting us Jupiter is supporting us giving us blessings Mars is action Jupiter is blessings they're trining it's very positive and this is few hours after Jupiter came direct so this is really the week where we can make things happen and I hope you have a good one and I will see you in one of my daily videos and if you want more details you can always watch the daily videos and the full moon video will be out soon if you want to watch that bye